Alright, I'm going to be doing a video on Jeff Loeb, the comic book writer. Um, he's written, written for Marvel and DC Comics. And I'm basically going to start off with his DC work. Now, before I get this started off, I want to say that Jeff Loeb is probably one of the nicer n nicer uh, of the bunch in the DC, in the uh, comic book world, excuse me. He has, if you look at him in his interviews, he's very kind, he's generous, he's not stuck up. He's very open-minded too. He's not closed-minded to ideas and stuff like that. He's very open-minded. He uh, he doesn't have his head up his ass, and he generally uh, dislikes what he's doing. Now, I'm gonna start off with his DC work. Uh, his Superman for All Seasons, his uh, Batman Along Halloween, his run on Batman and Superman, um, which they. Um, made two animated movies now uh, based off his uh, work uh, The Dark Knight was you know he got um, royalties for the Dark Knight movie because they kinda used that as an inspiration um, that was one of the Batman books they used for inspiration for the movie and and that's that now he did another run on Batman and Superman which is a really good book but nobody ever talks about now it's called Batman and Superman Absolute Power. Now, this is a Superman and Batman story that is basically it's an alternate story where Superman and Batman are are basically they are the government. But nobody really talks about that story. It's very good. If you haven't read it, you should pick it up. It is a very good book and probably his best work um on the Batman and Superman run. Now, Public Enemies is actually... I actually don't mind Public Enemies. I know a lot of people really, really hate that. But if you don't take it seriously, it's an alright book. It's not that bad. It's He's writing Batman and Superman more like... Um, more like a kid's comic. Where you don't have to take the character seriously. It's just more... Uh, more hokey-dokey fun. I want to say that. Now... Jeff Loeb uh, did Batman Hush. Which had excellent artwork, but... The thing with Jeff Loeb is he tends to reveal the um, villains, or he tends to he tends to tell you the story be before it's over. What I mean by that is he introduced Hush, and then he introduced a character from Batman's past, from Bruce Wayne's past, who was a kid, and we never knew who it was. We'd never seen this character before, but and then you know it's kind of easy to put the pieces together. Hush is Thomas Elliot. Like, that was easy. He gave it away too fast. He gives away his stuff way too fast in his stories. And pretty much after that, he went over to Marvel. Now, here's where Jeff Loeb really gets bad. Um, he started doing uh, his work on, I believe he did the color books, and then he went over to Hulk. Now, this is where he's most famously known today for being um, a pretty crappy writer. Red Hulk. Okay, now before all this, Hulk pretty much was becoming smart. Um, on Planet Hulk, he had developed some very good social skills. He had developed fighting skills. He had a son uh, and this and that. Now, when Jeff Loeb comes on, he makes the character of Hulk... He go he makes it, he goes back to the old Savage Hulk, which is basically the Hulk smash. Now, that was a bad move. You shouldn't have did that. I mean, you had Hulk developing as a character. You had him becoming something different. Um, I don't mind Savage Hulk, but you know, when what on um, Peter Davis run, he had really developed the Hulk. Into something not just Hulk smash, but some uh, an actual person, a character that's basically just confused and he's misunderstood. Now Jeff Loeb just said, "You know, I'm just going to make him back to Savage Hulk," and then he intro he introduced a new character called Red Hulk. Now people had already guessed it was Emil Lebowski. I thought it was Emil, um, I you know the abomination, the first abomination. Now, recently, the identity of the Red Hulk was revealed. It was General Ross. Now, this makes no sense because I really think Loeb just said, hey, they figured out who it was, 
and I'm going to change it up to be General Ross. It makes no sense to, since in the actual issue, they had General Ross in a tank fighting the Red Hulk. It makes no sense. I mean, and it, it, it got so bad that I don't think DC, I mean, not DC, I keep saying DC. I don't think Marvel acknowledged it. They just said, hey, it's out of continuity. And now his identity is General Ross. This doesn't make any sense. First, General Ross has a mustache. I mean, how do you how do you become the Hulk when you have a mustache and you don't have one when you are the Hulk? It, it doesn't make sense. Um, but getting back to Jeff Loeb in general, the guy really, he's become a really bad writer. Um, I don't mind him being in charge at Marvel's uh, projects. Like I said, as long as, as he doesn't become involved heavily in the writing. You know, he can give us some ideas here and there. Because he, like I said, he's very open-minded with stuff. He likes bringing in uh, new ideas and stuff like that. But when he gets on the writing, he gets bad. Um, another good example is Heroes. Before that, Heroes was a pretty well-established sh- established show. You had um, Season 1 and 2, which were pretty good. Um, but season three, man, by the time season three came, it was over. The show just went to hell. And, and by the time, by the time season four came, they couldn't recover from that. The ratings had dropped everything. Um, he's written for Smallville. Um, when he wrote for Smallville, he did some really bad things on that show. Um, so my opinion on Jeff Loeb is a very nice gentleman. Very uh, open-minded man. Um, he has a lot of good ideas, but I don't think he really should be writing. He's not. Um, he's not that good at it, especially now in Marvel. Um, he's written. He also writes for the Ultimate Universe, and he ruined that with Ultimatum. Um, Mark Millar even came back and had Nick Fury say a couple. He he had Nick Fury say a line. He said. I'm gone for one second, and you ruin everything. And that really was directed at Jeff Loeb. Mark Millar has said that, and I don't blame him. It, it's it's crazy, but you know, all in all, he's an all right guy, just not a very good writer. And that's my opinion on Jeff Loeb. I am out.